Presidential candidate Dr. Tan Cheng Bok has hit back at critics who questioned his credentials. Speaking at his rally on the last day of campaigning, Dr. Tan described why he's the most balanced of the four candidates. As a director and member of the executive committee of MRT and LTA, I was involved in hundreds of millions of dollars in building your north, south, east, west and the circle line. When we make decisions, these are big decisions. So if anyone thinks that I'm not good in the financials, they better go and ask LTA and better go and ask MRT. Many of them think that you must be a minister to be a great diplomat. I tell you, not necessary. For 15 years, I led the Singapore European Parliamentary Group. And my responsibility is to look after all the diplomats and all the parliamentarians from Europe when they come to this part of the world. And when Europe wanted to become a union, wanted to gang together, we had to make sure that the fortress Europe that they were trying to build will not affect ASEAN. That is, you need a lot of diplomacy to discuss all these issues with the parliamentarians of Europe. Um, some people think that I'm not independent because I was a former PAP member. Yes, I'm a former PAP member. But I never told the PAP line all the time. Dr. Tan also questioned his opponents on their independence from previous political affiliations. So when G C says that I'm not independent because I belong to the PAP, or even Tony also belongs to PAP, not independent, Kin, uh, Kinlian also the same. I asked him, you're also from the SDP. So you must, you cannot say your short stint in SDP disqualify you as, in, uh, as not associated with the SDP. So he's also part of that, part of those arguments about independence. Tony Tan, for example, is the, currently the chairman of the National Research Foundation which is a department of the Prime Minister's office. So, he has to report to the Prime Minister. I think you all have a right to know whether he's independent or not. Dr Tan emphasised that the President is not a separate centre of power and should work with the government in the interest of Singaporeans. We must not destroy this place by pushing, in, pushing issues that will make the two offices clash. As a President, I cannot make promises. I cannot say I want to change your pension rules. I cannot say I want to give you a lot of money to the national service people. I cannot. And I would be ashamed if I make such promises and I do become a president. I cannot do it. When I heard Tony say that he wants to have a resilience package in this dark clouds that he painted, the dangers that's going to come before Singapore, the economy is going to turn very bad. I mean, there's a lot of truth. We must be very careful. All these do happen, can come. But we must not instill fear in all of you. The president, the president cannot be seen to be helping to plan a package and then approving it later. This is conflict of interest, right? Dr. Tan said that if elected, he will issue an annual report detailing the state of the National Reserves, CPF savings and key appointments made during the year. Watch his full rally speech in the other clips.